Hey guys, Fletcher Schrock here in the tractor plant, and I want to take you guys through a tour to show you how the new Heritage boat is being built. It all starts right here. You know, if you've got one large roll of aluminum, we're able to get about 20 hulls out of one of them rolls for the new Heritage boat. So once the aluminum comes off the roll, it's run through a state-of-the-art plasma cutter, then they bring it over here to this press where the stakes and chimes are then pressed into the hull so it makes for one seamless aluminum hull without any welds. So once the hulls have been cut and pressed, they're taken over to the welding assembly line where these guys that are masters at welding assemble the stringers in the hulls, then the hulls are then leak tested to make sure there's no leaks in this thing and it's ready to go to the lake. Yeah, I mean, look how cool this thing is. I mean, they use these robots just so the precision and the consistency is there in every boat that's manufactured. So basically, every tractor boat in the plant is gonna come through the paint booth, but not the Heritage. We're doing that just because in 78, that boat was actually a mill-finished aluminum, and Bass Tracker is keeping it that way in 2018. So before the pressure-treated decks are installed, each cavity of the boat is actually filled with an expanding foam that allows strength, flotation to the boat before it gets on the water. The Heritage is bringing back the retro style with the chocolate brown high-quality carpet. I love that they're bringing back the old school. The final stages of the boats are all installed here. You know, you got the consoles, the electronics, the trolling motors, everything's gone over. It's all about quality assurance, making sure the user has a perfect experience with their new tractor boat. And as you can see, the Heritage is right in line with the Bass Tracker 195s and every other line that Tracker makes as it goes out to make sure that the user has a great experience on the water the first time out.